Hi guys, it's Amy here. Sorry, just in the sun there a bit. Um, just outside here, it's a beautiful day. It's still, I think it's just about zero degrees here. Um, but it's a beautiful, nice sunny day and our snow is all melting. Um, and I'm pretty excited, uh, excited to get out today and, and have some fun out there. Um, my husband and I are planning a snowmobile trip, so pretty excited. So I'm here today to um, talk to you guys about my self-care plan. Um, I have it on my website, so um, if you need help finding it, let me know. It's just on my homepage there. Um, you can uh, download it for yourself and you can use it um, for yourself to, to um, make a plan so that you f can work, focus on the things that make you feel good and focus on the things that um, will help you feel better and and that sort of thing. So I have my self-care plan here. I'm going to show it to you. And I'm going to go through each area and kind of explain how you can fill out your own self-care plan. Um, so this is going to be slightly different for everybody. Um, everybody's going to find certain things feel better for them compared to other people. Um, so for one per someone, it might it might be a bit more exhausting to do a certain task, whereas someone else it may be um, exhilarating, rev revitalizing, and make you feel really good. So just be aware of that. Like if, if something, if I have an example here, or something that I like to do that makes me feel good and it doesn't necessarily make you feel good, then you don't have to have it on your self-care plan. Just put things that make you feel good, okay? So um, I'll give you a... We'll switch the screen around here and I'll show you what this looks like here. So, so my first sheet, put it up in the sun there. My first sheet looks like this. So it says my self-care plan. Now on the mind section, I've put um, meditate before bed. Um, so that helps quiet my mind and helps me sleep. I find that helps me. Um, and maybe something you like to try, maybe not. Um, let me know if you want to chat and I can give some recommendations if you're interested in some guided meditations. I have some good ones that I use. Um, and then in the mind section, I also have visualizations. Um, I like to do visualizations in the shower. Um, that's kind of my, my routine in the morning to start my day. Um, there's other, other means of doing that. Um, let me know if you're interested. I can always help you with that sort of stuff as well. Um, doing crosswords. So uh, this is something that kind of stimulates your mind and gets your mind thinking a bit more. Um, so things, anything that's getting you thinking. Um, crosswords, Sudoku, um, any little puzzles that you like doing. Things that get your mind working or things that kind of calm your mind down. Whatever you feel works for you and your mind. Um, and then over here we have body. Now for the examples I have here, I have stretching and yoga. Um, I do enjoy doing yoga, although it takes planning and, and getting a routine going. Um, I love stretching, so just sitting in front of the TV with the girls or listening to music and sitting there and just stretching or whenever visiting with friends, if I'm sitting down, just doing some light stretches is always a good thing um, for your body. Um, Epsom salt baths or massages, those are always good things for your body. It um, helps Epsom salt baths help your body detox and um, relax. Massages are great ways to stimulate and get things moving in your body, get the energy moving. Um, other things are exercise activities, things that you enjoy doing. You know, exercise doesn't have to be a daunting task. We can find things that you love doing that you can put into your routine regularly. I know one thing during the winter, I love getting out with um, the ladies and playing hockey. It's it's a thing that I love doing and I've discovered and it's it's a great thing for the winter. Um, through the summer, I get out walking, hiking, um, things like that. And those are the things that I love to do. Um, and now those things can be different for everybody. Um, now here, let's see. Down here we have emotions. For emotions, you can um, do different things that help make you feel good. Um, so, whatever that is to you. Now, planning a family dinner may be hard for somebody. 
For me, I find that when I plan a family dinner, it gets everybody together, it gets me enjoying people and seeing the people I love. So um, that's something I like doing. Um, and again, it's different for everybody, so that doesn't have to be something that you like. Um, and for coffee, um, getting out with coffee, for coffee with friends. Hi, I just seen somebody joined us, so feel free to say hello. Um, and I'd love to answer any questions you have. We're just going over our self-care plan here. Um, and so for emotions, it can be different for everybody. For me, um, coffee with friends, things that get you thinking about your emotions. Um, and counseling or getting coaching. Um, anybody. Hi, Jen. <laughs> Glad to have you join me here. Um, you can always watch the replay to get the beginning here, too. Um, so counseling, coaching, coughing with friends, anything that's going to get your emotions, emotions feeling good, right? Or working through those tough emotions. Um, and then over here, I've got a spirit. So we've got spirit here. And so spirituality. So that can be different for everybody. Um, I like Wayne Dyer. Um, so I read his books. Um, I like Louise Hayes. I have a whole list of recommended reading that I give to all my clients. So, um, and that there's spiritual mindset stuff, body stuff, all, all different types of things that I've found have helped me through my life. Um, getting out into nature is a big thing for me, just connecting to nature. Um, and that makes me feel really good um, and connect to myself and who I am. And spirituality can be different for anybody, any way that you connect to your yourself, your, your spirituality, um, God or the universe or whatever you like to call that. Um, and then as you see, like mindset kind of overlaps a little bit with spirituality. So like things like meditating, um, can kind of go into the spirituality section as well if you feel that's where they fit or more appropriate for yourself. Visualizations can also be in spirituality. So whatever makes you feel good in that area. Um, so there's that. Um, and then I also have a second sheet for you to do. So once you've filled that part out, I like to, I recommend doing like three three items per area and if you're having a tr having troubles filling out each area just let me know and I can help you walk walk you through it and figure out things that make you feel good cuz um I think it's important to have at least three things in each area so that we're aware of what makes us feel good um okay and then my second sheet here let's pull this off is the schedule so the important thing is it's great to know what we're doing as a self-care plan, but the important part is scheduling it, putting it on a calendar. So if you have a day planner or anywhere that you, if you have a calendar on the wall, make sure you write it down. Like, when are you going to do it, right? Are you going to do it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Are you going to do it in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, or... Um, when are you going to do it? Because otherwise we're going to forget about some of these things, right? It's easy to say, oh, well, I'll just have a bath another day. I'll do it next week. You know, I'll start meditating later on. But it's very important to schedule these things so that you do them. I know when I was playing hockey during the winter, it was very important to have on my schedule because some weeks I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to go out. But when it's on my schedule, it's that reminder of Okay, I need to do this. So take all the pieces that you've put on your self-care plan, put them on your schedule, and it will help remind you to do these things. And that's a very important piece because we want to make sure we're looking after ourselves and we're scheduling it into our day. Um, and then down here, I have things I'm grateful for. So write down five things you're grateful for. This is a really good practice. And go to this every day, every morning, you know. Look at what you're grateful for. And it'll help help you appreciate what's in your life. So things that I would be grateful for, or uh, that I am grateful for is my family, my husband, my children. You know, I'm grateful for my business that I'm, I'm able to start, the support I have in, in, in starting my business, um, our home. I'm grateful that we have, you know, food in our cupboards, that we, we have, you know, down to like, um, 
we have running water. I'm very grateful for that. I know through the winter time, there's people that don't have running water. Um, and so it's just the, the little things that make you feel good and appreciate that. So I'll switch this around. So guys, I'm happy to share this with you and um, thank you for joining in live, Jen. And um, I hope that you find this helpful. And again, if you have any questions about any of it or you want to work through this with me, um, just reach out and let me know and we can, uh, we can work on your self-care plan um, to help you feel better and help you move forward and, and find the things that you enjoy in life. And uh, if you found this helpful, for sure, um, let me know. Comment in this comments. You know, like it. Um, and if you think that there's other people out there, other moms who are struggling or other moms who may find this beneficial, um, ask them if they want to join the group. Um, and we can create more of a community and have more women. I'd love to help more women. Um, moms who need this sort of sort of information so um, thank you very much for watching and um, I look forward to having more live videos and, and supporting you guys in whichever way you can talk to you later bye bye